Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about some great news for Windows 11 as Microsoft is announcing that they're introducing a screen recording function into the Snipping Tools app. They recently released a new version for the Snipping Tools app in the dev channel of the Windows Insider program. And in this video, I'm going to show you how that works and how the design looks. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this. This one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, you need to know that you have to be on the dev channel. I'm now on the latest build, which is 25,025.2. Well, if you're lucky enough, you're going to receive through a Microsoft Store update a new version of snipping tools. If not, you have to wait a bit. Maybe I'll make a video on how to manually install this new version. So let's just search in the search box for the snipping tools. And we're going to notice that the snipping tool is looking a bit different. We have the snip section and we have now the record section. I'm just going to go into settings to show you the version of snipping tools that I'm using. The version is 11.22.11.35.0. This is the latest version for snipping tools. So Microsoft is introducing this new preview version of snipping tools. What you need to know is that if you have this version, it is full of bugs. You can encounter bugs such as the recording not being saved, the snipping tools not opening, and so on. So you just need to bear with these known issues because Microsoft is working on fixing them in future builds. So now let's go and select the record section and then we can click on new. When we click on new, we're going to have to select the location of the screen where we want to record. For example, I select this location. Now I have two options. I have start and cancel recording, but I can move this section wherever I want. This is also really, really nice. Now, if I click on start, I'm going to have a countdown from three. Usually, as you see, this is a known issue. The snipping tools app didn't start the recording, but we can try again. I'm going to go into the record section. I'm going to map out a location, click on start, and now you can see the countdown and the recording will start. Once I'm recording, I have two options up here. I have stop and I have delete. Of course, I can delete the recording that I'm currently doing. Now, if I click on stop, usually the snipping tools app should open again. Now, in this case, as you can see, it's giving me an error, unsupported video type or invalid file type. Let's try and save it and see if this will work. It's MP4. And as you can see, we have the recording here. The recording was successfully created. That is good. But what I'm trying to emphasize here in this video is that this version of snipping tools has a lot of bugs. So you need to bear with them until Microsoft releases a better and well-rounded version of snipping tools with the recording section. Even though it has bugs, I'm really happy that Microsoft is introducing a screen recording function in Windows 11. We've been waiting for that a long time. And the fact that it will be a free recording section in Windows 11 is going to be a great, great addition in this operating system, in my opinion. Of course, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you think about this new section or this new update for Windows 11. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.